Welcome to the Food and Wine channel. And today we are broadcasting from the Vineyard Hotel and Spa in Newlands, Cape Town, Western Cape. And with me here, I've got Mr. Roy Davis, the general manager of the hotel. Welcome, Mr. Davis. Good day. It's good to have you here. And it's an honor really to sit down with you and talk about this prestigious hotel you have here. Thank you. <laughs> We are here today to talk about the Cape Legends Show Cook Inter Hotel Challenge. You have been now an entrant uh, prior to this year in the competition, and now we are preparing again for 2014. It came around very quickly. It came around. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure everybody is ready to get involved with that. And I'm just going to ask you, before we even get into the competition itself, would you just like to tell our listeners a little bit more about a Vineyard Hotel and Spa? I think uh, you're most probably sitting in, well, let me tell you, you are sitting All in right. the oldest hotel in Cape yeah. Town, as far as our records go. Uh, we've been, this year, we'll have been going as a hotel for 120 years. Oh, my word. Mm. Uninterrupted. So, yes, we have other people in the competition who may tell you that they're older than us, but they're not. <laughs> So don't go there. Um, but yeah, one of the things that the vineyard is well known for is its uh, food and wine activity. Mm. And specifically because uh, the old house that eventually gave life to the Vineyard Hotel mm -hmm. was uh, planted, uh, was built in a vineyard. So oh, yours, right. it is the vineyards date back, original vineyards would date back to before 1800. So that's where the name comes from. Interesting oh. that you ask. The, 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 in the old days, what they used to do is when they put a house in a vineyard, yes. they'd, the house would normally carry the name of a lady. Mm -hmm. So if you go into Constantia, Constantia, the, yes, the yes. Clan Constantia, Crew Constantia was born out of Constantia, which was Simon van der Stel's naming for the farm. Oh, and, wow. uh, and, the, and then the, the chateau that was there. In this case, they decided to change the process. And so this was the first property where the house carried a different name. Wow. And it was called Vineyard. Plain and simple because the house was built in a vineyard. In a vineyard. And so we have a very long history with, uh, with wine specifically. Yes. yes. Uh, this is also known as the uh, house where quality control for wine mm. started. Wow. The, the gentleman that owned this house sat at the pier at, at the harbour, testing wine before it was boarding boats to go off to the UK. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! And he, he put together the first committee to start improving uh, wine production in South Africa. So if you go into the mid-1800s, mm -hmm. they had a committee here for viticulturists and for winemakers to try and improve the product that they were sending to Europe. Wow. So, and we think that we have a young wine industry. And, and I'm thinking to myself, Vineyard is a hotel in my head, but it looks like there's a very rich history around wine itself. And I'm wondering, was the intention to have it as a hotel or was it an intention to have it as an expert wine house? I think the, the, the history of this property yes. Uh, is quite diverse. So it depends on where you would stop in a date in history. Yes. You're going to find a different conversation commencing there. So we can go back, if you go, if you go back uh, to the uh, mid-1600s, <laughs> this area was producing food for the ships that, that sailed into Cape Town Harbour. So it, it, it was basically, the, the, sitting on the river, it was the breadbasket of what was happening wow. uh, in terms of people coming to the Cape. Mm. If you go back a little bit further, mm. the mountain across uh, what later became Newlands mm -hmm. um, was the breadbasket for the Khoi people for wow. more than 200 years. Wow. So the area has huge history. We also very rich uh, heritage there. Very very rich. We may be sitting and talking about wine, but beer also finds its roots along this little wow, river. that part I didn't even really <laughs> know at all. That's very new. Yeah. So when you come to when you talk about food and wine, uh, we can we can have a conversation that covers both, and then much later it becomes a house which was, hos it was hospitality for Lady Anne Barnard's friends. Yes. Uh, and there you start to see 
um, our style of hospitality developing, later becoming a hotel in 1894, and since then it's been a hotel. But the hospitality you'll find at the vineyard uh, is very homely hospitality. Yes, I agree. Uh, if you have a look at the people that work at the vineyard, they've been here, many of them, for many years. And it is about guests returning on an ongoing basis. Uh, there are a few hotels in Cape Town that will have that, yes. but I think uh, we, we sit with guests I was speaking to a lady the other evening. Yes. Her family have been coming here for 60 years. Wow. So it, there's, there's not that kind of legacy sitting out there. Wow. Mm.